Look, if you're gonna be out gallivanting around the galaxy, I mean, you first and foremost need a ship. Or possibly several ships. Now don't get me wrong, I love Fee with all my heart. But just because I'm tied to her yoke doesn't mean I can't look at other engines. And if you want to look at other engines, there's nowhere like the IAE. Sorry, we tend to use a lot of acronyms out here. IAE is short for Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. And for that, we have to go all the way to Microtech. Welcome to New Babbage Microtech, where the only thing less hospitable than the biome is the minimalist corporate aesthetic. New Babbage is most notably the home of things like Factory Line, the flagship store for Microtech, makers of the Moby Glass and owners of this planet. Wally's Bar, a gathering place for the system's most insufferable, and a rock wall. But that's not why we're here. I don't understand why people can't pick up their trash. Okay, let's go see some ships. Yeah, it definitely wasn't this purple last year, but I suppose it's on the theme. Oh, right, I gotta throw this out. Um, trash can, trash can. Oh, there's one. Here we go. All right. Future looks like. Ugh. Seriously? It's not that hard. I mean. Ugh. And uh, med pen? That's biohazard. I, oh, I gotta put that in the. What? Huh. Self sorting rubbish bins. What a cool feature. Future looks like. Oh. discriminate. I love every alien ship, but this next one, whew. Yeah, there is nothing like Banu craftsmanship. I mean, even the xenophobes can't deny that. Anyway, that's not the ship we came to see. I, uh, I bought it. And I got a paint job too. I was eager to take this baby out for a joyride, but first I had to get the parts squared away. You see, it came with the stock Foxfire Quantum Drive, which isn't a bad drive, but I'm impatient, and being able to zip across Stanton in less than 10 minutes is a pretty high priority for someone like me. Well, 
welcome to Grimhex. It's what they call a lawless station, but that's only because the corporations don't have their tentacles wrapped around its tachyons. It's no new Babbage, but that's a good thing. The people you meet here are far more captivating than the tech bros of Microtech. You see, this is why exploring is so important to me. You get to see pockets of the universe that other people, especially the corporations, forget. But, you know, hey, at least them forgetting means there's a safe haven for someone. I just hope those someones are deserving of it. Anyway, I came here for a reason. Turns out that the only VK zeros in all of Stanton were either here or Crusader, and quite frankly, I'm sick of that gas ball. Also, prices are better here. You know, fell off a truck and whatnot. Now that I've got a more than sufficient quantum drive, what do you say we see what these weapons can do? Hey, Kenzo! Wait, is, is that Kalani? Cozy, what are you doing on this channel? You two know each other? Small galaxy, huh? Well, he's helping me hunt for weevil eggs around Microtech, if you want to help. Oh, say less. Sweet. Before I could join Cozy and Kenzo on their pursuit of weevil eggs, I first had to stop at Port Tressler. You see, I may have gone overboard and bought a bunch of quantum drives. You never know when you're going to buy another ship. Well, at least I don't. Cozy, love the paint job. Oh yeah, I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one out here making bad financial decisions. Kenzo! Hey Kalani. If you can't tell from the millions worth of weevil eggs in his Corsair, Kenzo is pretty rich, but he is as self-made as they get. He was curious how the cargo worked on the Sulin, so he loaded me up with a crate and we headed off. Now it's finally time to see what these guns can do. With everything dead, we went to check the wreckage, but all we found was minerals and some scrap. Kenzo, with his fully ballistic Corsair, needed to restock, so we all took a moment to catch our breath, top off on our own ships, and enjoy a nice sunset. I should mention, when you're out adventuring, definitely look for these mining outposts around the verse. They're an armistice, so it gives you a chance to let your guard down. Just for a bit. Once again, there was nothing, but we were close to devil and scrap and salvage, so we decided to go sell the eggs while we could.
Now, Devlin's doesn't offer the same excitement as some of the other illicit points of sale in Stanton, but you still have to check for criminals. I think when all was said and done, Cozy and Kenzo made 53 million to split between them. I didn't want to take a cut because I wasn't there when any of the eggs were found, but they let me keep the crate they gave me and I made 112K. You know, a lot of people, especially my mother, ask me why I spend so much of my money on ships, and it's impossible to answer that. But it's so damn obvious when you experience it yourself.